Party on the dance floor, party people want more Time to hear something from the treacherous three Special K and L.A. Sunshine and the coolest of the cool mode D Sunshine, 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 sunshine. Pop out the champagne, pull out the cork. That ain't sunshine, and I'm about to talk. But don't clap your hands, cause I'm only began. I haven't started yet, but I bet when I do, I'll make you see a brighter light by the time I'm through. Cause when I rap, I make hands clap, I make fingers snap, and I make feet pat like that. And as a matter of fact, what I bet I can make you part of people react. I can make you say ho oh, and make you stomp your feet. I can rock you even if I rhyme. Oh. Grabbing a mic and yelling, yes, y'all. I can make you act like you had no sense at all. Get you off the wall to have a ball. That ain't all. You know, this has been amazing, man. You know, I haven't been in uh, Books in the Hood. You know, we always got to give that um, official shout out to Books in the Hood, man. I, I, I've always, um, we will always pledge our allegiance, man. Um, I haven't been here in a good time. But, um, you know, moving forward, you know, we officially put the site up last week, November 7th. Um, I met L.A. Sunshine, man. Of course, it's an honor, you know, first and foremost. Before the book, it's always an honor. I, I pledge my allegiance of far beyond, man. And uh, I met him two weeks ago, and two weeks down the line, he's officially here and books in the hood get interviewed by book bandits, man. So, you know, um, for a lot of you individuals that clearly don't know who he is, he's going to give you a brief synopsis of who he is, man. Ellen Sunshine. You know, you know, and it's amazing that you know you give sort of a brief synopsis, and um, you know it's 2011. The book is out. You know, you know it's amazing. Like I'm trying to figure this out, man, because uh, you know it's already historic. It's, it's already historic that that you're here. You know what I mean? That you're here. You know. Um, you were one of the individuals that helped shape and mold the, the art of hip hop, man. And you know, I know throughout the years, man, you've been seeing some bull crap, frivolous stuff, and so on and so forth. Does your, cause the, the book itself, man, true stories, the real accounts, man. <laughs> do you harbor on a lot of that? Um, well, it don't be no more cut and dry than that. Um, I mean, when I first walked on this venture, I thought it was a for one. Because I believe that, you know, pretty much everybody's got a story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I've had my own trials and tribulations mm -hmm. just as much as everybody else. But that coupled with the hip-hop exploits from rap's hip-hop's inception all the way up until now, one of the few cats that made that was able to be able to have my thing on the pulse, per se, in regards to the real part of it from the beginning. Right. And I'm um, still traveling and still performing. Right, and I, and I was, and that's what I wanted to ask. A lot of times, you know, you know, I'm just looking at. The era, like I said, like you stated, the inception. You know, a lot of times, the fact that you stated that it was for me more than anything states that, you know, it's therapeutic. It's not no fad. It's not me, you know, putting a book out to state that, you know what, I claim this. My, you know, I mean, my footprint should be on such and such. Well, I think, without being egotistical, really conceited, yeah. I mean, um, what I've done, my accomplishments, and, and hip hop, they speak for themselves. For themselves. Right, 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 right. I mean, when I had a cat, you know, ask me, I'm like, I've been asked this on more than one reason, you know, why you guys don't get as much props or, you know, or, 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 or people honor you or, you know, you get all the recognition that you're rightfully deserved, which is just a problem. Right, right, but, of um, course. My response to it is always that. 
I don't need somebody to validate me. Mm-hmm. I don't need mm-hmm. 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 Or the award show. You know what I'm saying? You know, LA Sunshine, Treacherous 3, the first group to do XYZ. Mm-hmm. I mean, it would be great in all honor. So mm-hmm. it was good to, for, for people on the periphery, on the outside, to see that. Mm-hmm. But for me, I don't need nobody right. to tell me right. who I am and what I am. Mean, that sounds like so beyond somebody's Oh, it's mad. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's honestly yeah. my mindset. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a conversation and a debate and, and so many other different things, man. And, and, and that will go on for throughout a lifetime. Because you know? there are cats, you know, cut from my era, you know. And, and it's debatable. Sometimes rightfully so, or are better. Because they didn't do justice. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and the grand scheme of things, if you really look at it, like, this is an all time of course, of course, of course. And it's something that started way back when without that being a division. I mean, somebody might have said, you know, just like when we first started making two things, just talk to dollars. Right, 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 um, right, right. But right. nobody ever envisioned like this. <laughs> this is going to be massive. Of course, of course. Of course. And it's going to be a multi-billion dollar industry. Right. That is going to be the most dominant culture on earth. Right. Um, nobody will foresee that. But with that said, they got a justification for being so much better because if you take one tenth or one percent of all the money grossed from it, everybody that helped started with really Well, and you know, and you know what? Justifiable, right? But I just say I I, I brought that up because you know, one more again, you have a vehicle. Yes. A vehicle not governed by any man of company. You driving this car. Mm-hmm. And if the truth at the time, for example, my brother, you know, uh, I'm going to a little bit. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. My brother, my, my, my mom's held my brother in the highest regard. Mm-hmm. You know, I used to go on four of us. And my brother Bruce used to have one of the best. He went to the army, he went to the school, and he was, you know, he's. <laughs> right, so, right, right. And I'm you know, somewhat, for whatever that terminology means, it's pretty much a street gang. I was in the very early age. I was in the hustling and not selling drugs. You know, just but this is bigger than moving, moving, moving. Yeah, yeah, we have moving. So, so you know, straight Bruce comes in with the clown. So we all beat Bruce up. Uh, uh, Bruce got his job. Long story short, he got a job in Bloomingdale, Lord Taylor, mm-hmm. whatever you want to store in that town. This is right around the town. He just started getting the hip hop mm-hmm. thing. And uh, Jack came home with some the Lord Jack. So, you know, I group think right now we do that because we can find ourselves on style and mm-hmm. dress. Mm-hmm. We want to just with some jeans. Right, 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 right. He, you know, to be tight. You know, right. To be shot in AJ Lessons and mm-hmm. what happened. Mm-hmm. And uh, brother came to me and the Lord Blaze. He had one for himself. Right? Now, I bet I'm bringing y'all something. And again, this is my brother Bruce who squeaky clean. Uh, he stole two blazes from Lord Taylor. <laughs> and mom's got, you know, <laughs> my, 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 my son, my baby ain't never used to look You influenced him. You know what I'm saying? Right? He said, like, as if. <laughs> put that in the book. <laughs> And now I, I can't get a call. <laughs> you know, well, we ain't editing this, man. We gonna keep this is this is true story, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't editing this. We gonna highlight this, man. Um, and give me one more. This is gonna make the cat jump. I mean, this is just examples of the, the feedback you're right, getting right. from my inner circle, and then right. I'll tell you why I'm touching on it. Um, my brother from another mother, um, Mike's in the middle of the He's actually been close. He and I have been closer than my, my brother mm-hmm. since. You did a case? I mean, I mean, I, yes, you did a case? Um, and uh, now I've lived. We've been living together. 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 We've been any and anything, you name it, that two cats could do together. Right. Me and Mike sit down. And one time, and this is, God, I guess God knows how long we were in, in ninth grade or something. So, you know, way, way, way back. We had a pool when we were supposed to be in school. Mike get into a little beef with some cats in the school. And ball was a you know, Spanish gang. Mm-hmm. Um, and all, and all, so sure, this, 
been to a rap in the Push for the kids, kids run off, say, oh, I'm bad. I'm like that. Come back and go to the middle. Yeah. That's like, say, oh, 12 cats on the pool. You know what I'm saying? And they come coming, they ready to get out and get that off the mark. Yeah. And me being a cat, and again, if anybody knows me, I'm like, I'm going to walk in the water. So especially just I'm just ethical and it's not right. I'm just mean Right, me. right, yeah, yeah. Nah, right, they, right. They're right. gonna beat us up, they're gonna beat right, us right, up. Right, right, right. So uh instinctively I just said, yo, I like y'all, bro, and that's that. As soon as I said that, <laughs> jumped on me like gremlins. And I said, you know, basically it went like this, I said, look, y'all ain't jumping. <laughs> and I was I was, I was a rap man, but um I wanted to get beat down by Right. And um, Mike disappeared. Mike, you know what I'm saying? Mike said, you know, he bust somebody in the face and ran out the door. He said, you know, go to the police. And again, I love my brother Dad. Yeah, no, no. You know, so, long story short, turn. I feel some kind of way that I mentioned that incident in the book that you know, Mike ran. It's the truth, man. Not only is it the truth, it happened so long ago. And yeah. again, when I'm getting back from that, it's like, no, nah, this is because I know this is forever, but it should not taint the person or stain your image or reputation. You should not hold on to that because it was so long ago. And it is what it is, first of all. If this is the truth, it's the truth. Well, you know what? If you stepped in shit one time, you can't unstep it. Yeah, but you know what? Now, you know, Alan, this is, but, but this is needed. You see, this is needed, and it's not, it's, you haven't, I want to say you didn't harbor on two incidents in this book to justify, but at the end of the day, this is real life, like, like you stated, I didn't highlight anything, but the fact is that it happened. Right, but see, what I was going to, in, in conclusion of that, mm -hmm. I touched on those two, well, specifically for more so to say the, the, the negative flag I'm getting from my inner circle or my closer circle is you know it, it's bothersome because if they read the entire book which neither of them had they read their portion anyway what are you trying to yeah. kick the dirt on me yeah um, at the end of you know throughout the and later on in the chapters and at the end of the book you know it speaks very highly of both of them mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some like you know all this time we kicking dirt on you you obviously was the man, because he was straight for that. It just took me off. But he never got to that. Right. So what bothers me in, in, in the story or in, with, with cats in my in the circle is that they're so consumed with just the them. And right. That's part of what the problem was and made me write the book and, and me dealing with depression mm. and dealing with cats, mm. thinking that cats is always trying to shit on me or don't mm -hmm. nobody got no love for me in the first mm -hmm. place. All that does is substantiate and validate. Where I was coming mm. from in the first place. Why well, I embarked on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to this day, it's like, y'all still don't get it. The purpose of me writing the book was to try to fight it from a therapeutic standpoint. But I wouldn't, I believe I would not have even had to have gone through as much as I did if. if. You, you know what I'm saying? No, no, clearly. Clearly. Man, it's just something I just figured I'd touch on in the soul because I'm getting that flack from them. But aside from them, I mean, it's been nothing but love. But I commend you on. Because a lot of times, you know, you know, and 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 doing anything in this day and time, we have to, you know, people quote unquote look at what people think. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you did it. You wrote this book. You didn't say, you know what? Oh, what he made. Right, right. First, I need, I need to say this, man. The first time I saw this Treacherous Three, they reminded me of David Ruffin, Eddie Kendricks, and The Temptations. Unlike any other group I saw at the time, they had tight choreography and stage costumes that told you they were stars. There might have been other popular groups making records back then, but to me, there was no group better than Treacherous Three. And that was from Chris Rock. So, I mean, I, I can continue to go on, man. In closing, man, please, please get this book. Um, unbiased. True story of the real.
accounts. Salute oh my. We salute you, beloved. Peace, man. I appreciate it. I rhyme by oh, grabbing a mic and yelling, Yes, y'all. I can make you act like you had no sense at all. Get you off the wall to have a ball. That ain't all. I'm so tough, I bet money I can make you crawl. Cause it's positively great when I make no mistake. Let me tell you what it takes to shake, fake, and fake. When I'm on the mic under these high lights, let me tell you what it's like to rock with all your might. It's like having a dream and making it seem that you're a real mean one man team. When I